Hello guys, it's European Coffee Trip. Uh, we are in Prague. And why we came to Prague? We came because there is a workshop and special workshop led by a friend, William Davies. And the topic is the importance of water for coffee. Yes. And so, yeah, we are here in uh, X Mechanics and we are going to see the whole event. Hello! <laughs> uh, hello! <laughs> we are here in front of the X Mechanics training room and showroom, and we are here with our friend William Davies. In and Prague? In Prague, yeah. Not in Ilove. No, in Prague. <laughs> <laughs> and also, there is, we will show you, there is a Mr. Jenny Brown with us. <laughs> yes. Here today? I, yes, I am in charge today. <laughs> and we are here because the, there is a really interesting workshop, and the topic of the workshop is importance of water for coffee. <laughs> so, why water is important for coffee? <laughs> <laughs> for different reasons, because you have to look after your machine, but you have to make sure that you're... Uh, I've just let go of the dog. You have to look after your machine, and you also have to look after the taste of the coffee. Um, but it's complicated. It shouldn't be complicated, so what we're going to do here today make it is, easy. Get, yeah, is make it easy. There's two major things that you need to look at. One is the total hardness, and the other one is the total alkalinity. How those two combine is really important. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna look at. Today, me and Willie. When people talk about water, it gets very complicated, but the two things that are important is the total hardness. So this is basically the amount of stones in the water, the minerals in the water. Too much and you will get the stones inside your machine. But having some makes the water more efficient at extracting the coffee. The problem is too much and the machine will fill up with stones. The other one is total alkalinity. If you don't have enough, your machine will corrode. So the water will eat your machine. If you have a copper machine, uh, then the sign of that may be the, the green. If you have a lot of alkalinity, then there will be not much acidity in the water, uh, in the coffee. If your alkalinity is low, then your coffee will taste more acidic. So two things, hardness, total alkalinity. They're the two things you need to look at. It is a chart. This side is the hardness. So the magnesium and calcium, the stones in the coffee, the minerals. And this is the alkalinity. Here, there won't be enough uh, alkalinity and it will eat your machine. So that if you measure both the hardness and the alkalinity, if you are down here, your machine will be eaten. If you are over here, like high hardness, then you will get the stones in your machine. This is where the SCAE recommended you should be. But we are talking about two things. We are talking about machine and we're talking about taste. People say, what is the best water? It's like, well, it depends. It depends on the coffee. Uh, traditional Italian Espresso, uh, maybe from the south, that's a little bit more on the bitter side, would require a different water to a very bright, light roasted Ethiopian. It depends. In the past, it was all about the machines. Now, taste is coming in. So it's taste and machines. 
but we're still learning about the taste. People say, what filtration system should I have? It's like, I do not know unless I know what your water is. So on the chart, it depends where your water is before it is filtered because every filtration system filters in a different way so the I have a map but it's not very good because uh, it should be up there but uh, basically there's the red and the black and the blue and the starting point is where the water from the tap is so whichever direction you need to go depends on what filtration system you use if you just need to come straight down and you keep the alkalinity the same, but you just need to drop the hardness, it's the red, you use the softener with the salt, the simple one you flush out every week. You just come straight down. But if you need to come across, it's the carbon filter. And if you need to come somewhere in the middle, it's the RO. RO is really serious water system. It creates a lot of waste, uh, so it can be expensive to run. And you have to monitor it all the time. Some of the corrosion, uh, where I've seen the water eating the machine, has come from RO systems that people have stopped watching. The best water treatment, it find out where your water is and find out where you want to go and then find the system that takes you there. So right now we are by the end of the workshop that Willem was teaching us about the water and telling us actually how water is not as complicated as we thought. So William, what, are the, what would be the takeaways from your workshop? I think the takeaways are they are not an ideal water. It really depends on your brew method, uh, what coffee you're using and your customer preferences. But also another takeaway is if before choosing your filtration system, Figure out first what the water is that's coming from your tap. Find out what sort of water you want and then find the filtration system that delivers that. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be that expensive. No, it Eventually. depends where you are. Exactly, and also good message from Luca from Nova Simonelli is that actually in Czech Republic we have pretty good water <laughs> for most <laughs> yeah, of the places, lucky. right? Yeah. So Definitely. <laughs> So I think we can end up the video right here, right Radek? So <laughs> follow us, subscribe if you haven't done that yet and see you next week with another weekly video. See you next week, bye bye.